Hey guys! It's your favorite RV family! We're back here again for another update. So we talked last time we decided that we're gonna answer all your most asked questions. So this is a video where we take care of that. Um, but before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure and hit that I, notification bell. Oh well, he, he knows. Got he got, he's got <laughs> it. He's got it down. <laughs> he's got it down. And we didn't even practice. This is all Aiden right here. I guess you've been watching too many YouTube videos, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to our channel. Like this video. Help us out. Get this video seen. All right, so since our last video update, um, where did we go after our last video? I think we're in Texas, right? Yeah. So we left Texas and we did, oh my God, we did a lot of travel. We did like Alabama, Tennessee, um, Mississippi. Oklahoma, Mississippi, Oklahoma, Florida. Alabama. Florida. Where else did we go, Aiden? Alabama. Yeah, we said that. And oh, Arizona. We did, we did New Arizona, Mexico. New Mexico. Okay. So we've done a lot of travel since our last video. And guess what? We drove back to California and we surprised our family there. And they were so excited. And Tell us about the surprise. What did you think? It was thumbs up. Uh -huh. It was a thumbs up? It was thumbs up amazing. Okay. So we got to surprise, like I said, surprise family. And we spent Christmas and New Year with them. Yeah. So now we're back on the road, heading back towards Florida because it's warm. And we're trying to get to where it's warm, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, and, while, and, and while doing that, we are hitting some more states yeah. that we didn't get to drive through. Like right now, we are in? We are in... Oh, I'll... What is it called? We just got here this morning, remember? <laughs> yeah. It starts with a C. Uh, Colorado. Colorado. Yes. We're in Colorado right now. <laughs> and we, we just came from Utah. Yeah, that's right. So we left, we <laughs> went through, we stopped in Utah, and then now Colorado, and we're gonna be here, and then we're gonna continue heading out towards I'm Florida. I'm going to answer all your, your okay. questions. Aiden, one of the questions was, what do you think about living in an RV? It's so amazing because you can meet new friends. I don't eat breakfast that early. I just go outside and play. I don't even eat breakfast. And one time, I was boondocking. And then I went into the forest and we made a big fort out of sticks, large sticks. So, kind of pretty nice. Cool. In an RV. Anything else you like about living in an RV? No. That's it? Yes. Because you don't get to eat breakfast early? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why he came up with that for but know. one of the questions is um, about the cost, RV park fees, food, and gas. So I'm going to talk about RV park fees. So it really varies depending on like where you are. When we were up in Wyoming, Montana, uh, we didn't spend anything on, like we boomed up a lot. Yes, we did. So our RV stays were basically free. We didn't, we didn't spend anything but um, water to fill up our tanks and then we bought groceries as needed. But then when we came down, like in California, we spent like what, almost $2,000 almost two thousand at the RV park. Yes. And we weren't even there for up to a month. So I was like, that is way, 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 way above our budget. We were trying to keep our expenses under $1,000 a month. That was our goal, like including RV park fees and groceries. Um, but it's possible to do that depending on where you are and what city you're in. Um, so keep that in mind, you know, when traveling around. See, when you go to states like uh, other states like Texas mm -hmm. and uh, uh, the southern states, it's pretty much almost like $400 a month for the RV park. And it was a nice RV park too. Uh, yeah, beautiful. It had like a <laughs> splash pad. For the had, kids, like, Lazy four, River. They would grab like a mini golf course. Mini too. golf, right, for the yeah. kids. Yeah, so you get all those amenities and then for like a price like four or $500 for the whole month versus in California where you may not have all that and you're paying like so much money. So um, it would definitely vary depending on where you are. For groceries, it just depends. We buy as we go. Um, we don't, we have a small fridge. So we <laughs> we like grocery shop like like what, about every week, maybe? Every week, you know, yeah. because the good thing about that is like you get your stuff fresh. Yeah. It's so, not sitting there in the fridge. It's not sitting there forever. So we grocery shop every week and we don't really spend that much on groceries. Um, we do a lot of cooking, so we're not really eating out. So I would say overall RV cost, we can possibly do it on about like a thousand a month. 
um, including groceries and parking, as long as we're not in an expensive state, right? Not in California. Not in California. We love California, but woo, it's expensive. And then what about gas, babe? There was somebody who's asking about gas as well. Uh, well ga it varies. Like in, in California, gas is really expensive. It's about almost $4. But uh, in, in states like uh, um, Colorado and other states, you get gas for like two, two something. So mm -hmm. overall, to fill our tank, if that could possibly be the question, is it, to fill our tank, it's uh, about what? Uh, I would say about $90, $90 mm -hmm. to fill the tank. Mm -hmm. And that could take you a while. Right. Sounds good. So another question is, how do we uh, get like, you know, medical care while on the road? The good thing is, like, we're pretty healthy. Yeah. So, Ada never falls sick. My husband never falls sick. Knock on wood. Knock on wood, right? <laughs> but for some reason, some once in a while, I get sick. I don't know why. I'm, like, the only one. But, so, what we're using is Plush Care. I don't know if you guys have heard about Plush Care. Well, they offer, like, um, health care and mental care services. You can, what you do is that you go online, you sign up, and you can actually book it and see a doctor. So, like, about a week ago, I had, I think my ear was hurting. I don't know if I had an ear infection or what it was. So I went to Plush Care, signed up for it, got on there, and then I found a doctor, scheduled a visit, and was able to meet with her like within an hour, uh, virtually, which was like super cool. You can download the app on your phone. So I downloaded it on my phone, I met with her, and then she ordered um, some prescriptions for me. What was it, an antibiotic? Antibiotic. Yeah, she ordered some stuff for me, and it gets sent to the pharmacy. So then my husband was able to go like pick it up from CVS. Um, so the good thing about Plush Care is like they'll find out like where the, the closest pharmacy is to you. They'll send it there. If you don't have insurance, then you just pay out of pocket for it. If you do have insurance, even better because they'll cover that. So um, I, I recommend it if you're on the road and you don't like know where your closest like hospital is or closest doctor is or urgent care places and you want to talk to like a doctor right away, then you can use Plush Care for the. They're actually offering like 30 days free right now. So if you want to try it out, go check it out. Go to PlushCare.com, sign up. You get the first 30 days free. Check it out and see if you like it. <laughs> so one of the questions is what are some good ways to make a decent income while RV living um, I can't talk for everybody else but I can talk about what we do um, so we have a blog themomtrotter.com if you haven't been there yet go check it out and then we also have social media and so we do content creation for brands we share like brands that we use and love with our audience and then we get paid to do that um, like sponsorships if you guys are familiar or heard about those before uh, we, I also do freelance writing and then uh, we do photography, uh, video for brands. So all of that is how we make our income on the road. So we're able to work remote. That really helps us out a lot. Uh, we've also met people like we've met travel nurses yep. um, who do contract jobs and then they kind of go around. And then we've met, um, who else did we meet? Somebody who was working remote? Yeah, I love, as long as your job is remote. If, yeah. you work, if you work remotely and, and you don't have to go in the office, you can pretty much do the IV line. Yeah, basically. Um, there's so many ways though like if we, if we had to go into this oh my god this would take like forever because we've met like people who do all kinds of things but I think the number one thing is trying to figure out like what can I do like what is your skill set what are you good at and then find figure out how you can get somebody to pay you for that so like my husband's good at taking pictures so you know brands pay us for those pictures and videos uh, that he does so you got to think about like you know like what are you good at and what can you get somebody to pay you for um, we do blogging, so I definitely recommend that. For me, I feel like it's an easy way to make money, starting a blog, sharing, you know, things that you're passionate about, and um, it works out for us. Pretty much it. So we have another question here. It says, um, we're really thinking about moving to an RV. Do you have any pointers for a new family who wants to make this change? Um, for us, I would say just do it. Because honestly, when we left, when we sold our home and left, um, we didn't, we, yeah, we didn't really, we didn't really have a plan. And we also, to be honest with you, we didn't have a lot of money. So we just, we knew that we were done, you know, with the whole mortgage thing and the whole bills thing. And we just wanted to be, spend more time together, spend more time with our son. So we just literally just said, we'll do it. We'll just take the chance and see what happens. Um, so if you're thinking about doing it, just do it. If you do it for about, you know, like five, six, seven months and you don't like it, guess what? So you always go back to uh, a regular house. Go back to your house, go back to your job, go back to what you were doing before. Or you can find a new location and okay. just relocate. And, and move to, right, exactly. But my biggest thing is like, just do it. You will never know if you don't like it unless you do it. When we started it, we thought we were gonna do it for a year and then we'll be done with it. But it, what, almost a year now and we're not stopping anytime soon. We love it so much. We love the freedom. What? We love the family time. Um, <laughs> that's Aiden talking. <laughs> we love the freedom. We love the family time. Um, we love everything that comes with it. We love a little, you know, a little house on wheels. So I don't think we're gonna be stopping anytime soon. 
but my number one pointer is if you are remote then that's easy you can go ahead and you know take the leap right away but if you're not try to figure out how you're going to make an income on the road that's number one thing and once you figure that out honestly just just do it take the leap and do it she said it all right another question it says how are you adapting to living in the rv during the pandemic um i don't think anything's really changed much you know what i love we have our rv right here also we have our kitchen we have our bedroom we have a living room we have everything we need right here so we don't necessarily have to go out and get stuff um we do a lot of ordering instacart get our groceries get delivered to us if you don't want to go to a grocery store we don't feel comfortable doing that and then you know my husband and i both cook so we don't have to go out to eat if we don't want to we can literally stay in the rv and do everything in here without like stepping out and doing anything um and then when we do go out we do like um like a lot social of like distancing. social distance like yeah. hikes we do hikes we do outdoor stuff the water's cold. Do the not, water's. Do not dip your toes. Is that what it's saying? Is the water cold? Yeah. Do not dip your toes. Like my dad's going inside. The water's cold. So we are at Jenny Lake, and yes, the water is cold. Uh, but it's nice and it's beautiful out here. Hey guys. Hi. So we're in places where we don't really come in contact with a lot of people, and it's so easy to do that unless you really want to come in contact with people you don't have to and and also you know most of the stuff we order through amazon right so you don't have to go into the store to yeah. pick out what so you just order your stuff and it gets delivered to you right right, right right at the front office yeah we do a lot of ordering from like amazon target whatever we need we yeah. do a lot of like online ordering and then a lot of like grocery delivery so um i guess i would say the one thing that's different is some rv parks are closed or not open and then you know like a lot of amenities would be are closed like RV, some of the RV parks have like a clubhouse, they have like a pool, and then playground. So some of the things have been closed, but I don't think it's made much of a difference for us. Um, still, still working out pretty good. Another question. What has been your favorite place that you've traveled to so far? California, cause I got to see my cousins. And I also got to see my aunt. So that's it about California. Aiden, what kind of things did you do with your cousins? I played games, I played basketball, I went to the RV with them, I played at the park with them, I, they had a sleepover with me, and it was so, so much more. So much more stuff? Yeah. And where did they sleep? And they slept on my bed. They slept on your bed? <laughs> yep. Did all three of you fit on there? Yep. Yeah. So that's probably Aiden's favorite because we just spent like a couple of weeks in California. Yeah. Uh, what about you, Bay? What's your favorite state? Um, My favorite state so far, I think it was Florida. Really? Yeah, because we got to park, um, we got to park right almost in front of the beach. And it was pretty nice. Yeah, that was, the good, sunset that was and a sunset. That was a good sight. Yeah, it was good. They have a, at the RV park in Florida, you can literally park like on the sand. And like you get out of there. <laughs> Aiden, what fate was that? It was really? a surprise fate because I didn't remember. Remember when we got out of the RV and we uh, walked literally yeah, like right now. to the beach? Yeah, and we had a coffee at the beach? Yeah, I remember now. Yeah, that was a good sight. Like the RV sites are like right on the beach and you can get up and walk right there to the water and just kind of hang out. Uh, my favorite would be, that's a tough question. I feel like I, I've liked everywhere we've been. Yeah. I don't think I have a favorite to be honest with you. We've been to to a lot of states and I, the, the states <laughs> that, I, uh oh, bless you. Bless you. The so. states that I really, really liked, I would say Tennessee. I really liked, you know, visiting Tennessee. What'd you like about it? Um, that's a good question. I like, um, <laughs> I like the food in Tennessee. Yeah, the food was pretty good. I like the food. You put me on the spot right there. Like, what did you like about it? <laughs> I like the food. Okay, I'm a foodie, so if the place has good food, we come in. <laughs> that means I like it. And then, oh my gosh. I'm missing my other favorite state, Are Louisiana. They... Louisiana. <laughs> we went to New Orleans. Oh my God, we had a blast. We ate. We saw alligators, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, and also, what did you eat? Eat alligators. Aiden ate alligators. <laughs> not me. I'm good. I'm not eating that. <laughs> it Aiden, tastes like chicken. It does. It does. Yeah, it, it does, does it look like chicken. And it tastes like chicken too? Yeah. I was kind of scared to eat it, guys. I don't think I and, it. You know, you, you tasted it. I think you did. But Aiden, what else? You remember you wanted to eat something else? Yeah. You were asking about frog legs. Yeah. So Aiden good. wanted to try frog legs, but he didn't get a chance to try it. And I was just like, oh my gosh. He is like definitely a foodie too, because he's usually open to like trying new foods. 
Um, <laughs> but every state has been like a it's good been one. different. I mean, because I mean, also I think I also like when we boondock. Oh, when, we, okay. when we boondocked in, uh, I think it was Wyoming. Yeah, like that I mean, was it, nice. it was nice being around in nature and all that. Yeah. So, so every state has something different to offer, right? That's yeah. True. So this question is, have you guys felt unsafe uh, or been in any unsafe situations since you guys have been on the road? What um, do you think? No, unsafe, no, but uncomfortable, yes. We uh, pulled in in this one park in Texas and... The vibe. The vibe was just kind of oh, odd. Oh, yeah. It was odd. <laughs> you had this weird flags flying in most of the RVs over there. And I was like, I don't know we could stay there that long. Yeah, we just felt very uncomfortable there. Um, some people fly the Confederate flag and literally have no shame in doing that. And it's like, I'm talking about like a big flag. I don't know if they want to like prove that they're there or what it is, but it just made us feel so uncomfortable. That happened to us when we were in Texas, and then we're in another state, I think Idaho, and we tried to go get some, grab something to eat. I think we wanted to grab something to eat that day. It was a long day we were driving. Remember when we walked in there, and everybody looked at us. <laughs> Look, they looked like they'd never seen black people before. I'm sorry, but it just felt so uncomfortable. I said, like, I think I remember I sending them a message. I'm like, if you don't find me, or if you, if you don't hear from me, this is where I was last. So not that we felt unsafe, but more of like uncomfortable. And remember, was it somewhere else where you went to the grocery store? And everybody was staring yeah. at you. Yeah, I walked to the grocery store. And it was like Montana or something. Some little tiny, tiny town in Montana. And everyone was like, looking at like he's some kind of random, I don't know. But uncomfortable? Not really. Because most of the people at the RV parks that we've met have been really nice and yeah. really friendly. RVers are so friendly, I tell you. Um, so I love that about it. However, sometimes you can get into a place where you feel like you're not welcome. And that's what we mean by uncomfortable. But otherwise... Um, we don't really let things get to us so much. We don't feel comfortable somewhere. The good thing is, guess what? You can always change your backyard or change your neighbor. Change your neighbor, change your neighborhood. We get in the car, we drive off. Yeah. And <laughs> I think I love that about RVing. It's like we're stuck there. We're not stuck anywhere. I'm, I'm going to say this. Say, ever since we started RVing, I think, like you said, RV are like one of the most comfortable people you could be around with. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I, I mean, it's really different. You would love it. Yeah, I think so too. Mm -hmm. Like Aiden, like for example, at RV parks, like we let Aiden like ride his bike around. Hey, uh -huh. son. <laughs> we let Aiden ride his bike around um, and we're comfortable with that. And, you know, we don't really mind at all. We've never been in a situation where he's riding his bike and we're like worried about him or anything like that. So, um, so far, so good. Oh, another question is, what do you guys do about homeschooling and how does Aiden feel about it? It feels so awesome that it feels that I'm at home my school get it your school is your home and your home is your school homeschool i think they get it baby <laughs> <laughs> so anyway aiden does this thing where he'll tell you something and if it feels like you don't get it he'll keep explaining until you get it so we got it baby we got it okay? <laughs> okay. we got okay, it we got it so um aiden's homeschool road schooled RV school <laughs> and world school, too. world school, unschooled. So we don't really have any. Oh my gosh, Aiden! We don't have any specific curriculum that we use. I get asked that all the time. We really just free flow, to be honest with you. Um, we do math, like when we're cooking. Um, he'll do measurements because Aiden cooks, right? Yeah. Yeah. Aiden does a lot of cooking. If you've seen some of his videos, he loves to cook. The other day, he asked me to make him some crepes, and I was busy. So what did you do? I made my own. He made his own crepes. <laughs> He found a video on YouTube, he followed all the measurements. He actually made crepes and then he offered it to me. So thank you, Aiden. You're welcome. That was so sweet of you. Yeah, that was so sweet of him. So he's learning measurements, like, you know, like math and all that from cooking, baking, all that stuff that we do. And then um, reading, we do a lot of reading books. What is the last book that you read? Uh, it was Martin Luther King Jr. That was the last, and what about the one before that one? Uh, I can't remember it. Maya Angela? Yeah. Maya, Maya Ange Angelou. So he's been reading, we've been reading a lot of books. So he does a lot of reading and then um, some writing in his uh, like journal books and then math. So there's like evidence science is like literally out in the world, right? Remember when you found a snake? Yeah, and I told it. Tell them about the snake. It was, I was holding the snake, but wrong fact. It was not poisonous. The only way you can know it's poisonous is, is if it has a triangle head. Okay, I had no idea. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. 
So what? triangle head snake is not poisonous? No. Oh, it triangle is poisonous. Head, yeah, triangle head are poisonous. Are poisonous. Wow, I okay. didn't know that. But yeah, there you go. There you go, science right there. Fun he, fact. He, fun. fun fact, right? So he found a snake, they picked it up. You remember you held the snake? Yeah. And I was like, uh, no, nah, I don't like snakes like that. But he held the snake and then he looked at it. There were other kids, so they were all learning. So that was like, took care of his science. And then we've been doing a lot of black history. So what, where did we visit in Mississippi that you remember? Or Alabama? Any, do you remember any of the places you visited? Nope. Remember? Yeah. I remember. Okay, where? Yeah, Rosa Parks Museum? Yeah, but there was something there was a city that I can't remember. What was it? A museum that you visited? Nope, it was just kind of like a city. Yeah. Black people and there were lots of slaves there. Yeah, there were lots of slaves there. Uh -huh. I can't remember the name of the City. Alabama? Is it Mon 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 Montgomery? Uh, yes, Montgomery. <laughs> yeah, Montgomery. So you read so he read the book. Was that what book was that? Was that Rosa Parks book? That talked about Montgomery. It was Alabama? Rosa Parks and I don't know. What about the sit and all that stuff? Yeah, it was sit and too. Yeah, the sit and happened. So we've been reading a lot of books on Black history. So when we visited Alabama and Mississippi, we spent a lot of time going to all the museums out there and checking them out. Mm -hmm. um, it was a lot to be honest with you. We visited museums and after a while, I was like, it was too much for me. Seeing, I remember when the museum went to that was really sad. Yeah. Where we saw all, uh, you know, how all the the news and how the slaves were treated. Yeah. Yeah, that one was that, that was a rough one for us. Um, but it was important for me to show him that for him to see and learn. Um, About black history. Black history it was yeah. it was really important. Exactly. So we we've been doing a lot of that. So that's taking care of history. So basically everything that we do, there's a subject that covers it. So. That's basically what we do like school on the road. We don't have any formal thing. We don't have any, we don't do any test taking. We're not following any, you know, any school standards. We're kind of just following his space and kind of what he likes to learn and what he's interested in and introducing new things to him. Like another thing that he's learning a lot is about the RV. Yeah. So my husband does a lot of like, he knows like all the RV stuff. What did you do with that the other day that you, you, you asked dad to pay you for it? I asked dad to pay me for changing the oil yeah, in the he, car. He actually <laughs> helped RV. me change the oil and he uh -huh. sent me an invoice. Yeah. <laughs> and I got five dollars. Yeah, he, he helped his dad change the oil of the car and then sent him an invoice for five bucks. Can you imagine that guys? But so Aiden's learning everything. So not just like school stuff. He's also learning stuff about like, you know, like um, the RV, fixing the RV, emptying out the tanks, all that stuff. And then finance too is like a big topic that we've been discussing a lot. Um, so what did you learn about recently about, about stocks? Remember we were talking about stocks? Yeah, I, I remember. Yeah, uh -huh. I remember. When you're like in your fifth, when you're 59, you can retire all that money you made with that stock, I think. You think so? Yeah. yeah. That's what you remember? Yeah. What if you want to retire before 59? Can you? Yeah, I, I don't know. You don't know yet? Yeah. We're going to talk about that too. So we've been talking a lot about, you know, retirement and stocks and like what you can do with all that money. And it's so important to know now because we didn't know that. We barely just learned all that stuff. That's true. So it's so nice to be able to teach him everything that you can learn, not just only school related stuff, but just for life in general. So. Yeah. Why are you keep missing the record one? <laughs> okay, well, right, so. that's it for now. If you have any more questions, what are you going to do? Drop them in the comment section. So we're going to do a part two of this video. Of course. Because it was getting like too long, so we're going to cut it off and do a part two so we don't bore you guys. So any questions that were not answered in this video... Just write down below. Drop a comment below. And we'll make another video and... Uh, update and you guys update and answer all your questions answer we're gonna do our best to answer all your questions anything else you want to say Aiden? nope not at all not at all okay well thanks for watching guys don't forget to like and subscribe hit that notification bell all right see you guys later bye bye, bye. <laughs>